All right, well, you get my steering wheel in the way. Sorry, too bad. Suck it up. So a serious question for gun grabbers out there is um, how much blood are you willing to risk for gun control? What's interesting that I find interesting about the gun control argument is that uh, they talk a lot about wanting to, or they, they talk a lot about caring about people dying because of guns and they, they talk a lot about wanting to save lives and you know if we can just save lives we need to ban this and limit that and do background checks on that and uh, yet we've already found what gun control really does one of the things that you're gonna that uh, has just come out uh, do a search on the news uh, for this about Venezuela and gun control being disarmed. And uh, what you're gonna find is now a lot of these people in Venezuela where socialism has taken over every aspect of their lives, they're actually starting to say, well, how, why did we let the government disarm us? Because now the government can basically do whatever it wants and it is doing whatever it wants uh, to the citizens of Venezuela because now the government has gone to war with an unarmed populace. So my question to liberals is this, how much bloodshed is gun control worth to you? Because here's the problem with gun control. There, there, is, a, there is a large contingent of gun owners in America that are going to refuse to succumb to your ideology. You can pass all the laws you want. We've already seen how red flag laws have resulted in people being killed. People that never would have been killed without a red flag law. We've already seen how people have died because uh, in places like California and DC, because they were waiting on or were rejected their license to carry because of licensing laws. So we get universal background checks or we get red flag laws and the wrong person, which is what's going to happen because it's already happened many times, gets attacked and hurt or killed because of your gun control. Is that bloodshed okay? You care more about criminals and how they are being murdered, how they're murdering others than the fact that your government is murdering American citizens in the name of gun control, both figuratively and literally. Because you can also Google right now how uh, officers were executing a, a red flag warrant on an individual who had broken no laws, but yet someone's opinion decided that this person needs to be disarmed and he did what I'm gonna do and what every red-blooded American that believes in freedom will do and he defended himself. It cost him his life, but do liberals care? Do you libtar gun grabbers care that a, an innocent man was killed just because he was suspected of something or may have had, may have been a, a threat to himself or others? Is that bloodshed okay to you? How many people have to die to gun control before you realize that it doesn't work? Or is that really, your plan all along is to disarm the public so you can murder them and institute your socialist communist ideology unopposed. Maybe maybe bloodshed is really what you want, but you pretend to care whenever there's a shooting. So that's a serious question to blood on blood to uh, gun grabbers. How much bloodshed is okay for you? Where do you draw the line? So you want to take my uh, certain kinds of guns here. You want to take my AR-15s, you want to take my AK-47s, but I'm still going to be able to defend myself in my home with other rifles and pistols. Why is that any different? Why is me shooting a criminal thug in the forehead that breaks into my house any different if I do it with a revolver or an AR-15? Where exactly does your idea of humanity 
begin and end. So uh, there you go. There's my question, gun grabbers. I want to know exactly how much bloodshed you're okay with. And are you only okay with law-abiding gun owners being killed more so than you are criminals? Because I'm perfectly fine with some thug that breaks into my house or rapes my daughter or uh, tries to rob me on the streets. I'm perfectly fine sticking a bullet through his head and watching brain matter splatter behind him. Are you perfectly fine with law-abiding citizens having their brain matter splattered all over the place? by your government enforcing laws that suddenly made this law-abiding citizen a felon, which is what's happened right now in New Jersey, where this magazine that I'm carrying at my Glock right now, you see all those bullets? This is illegal. I'm a felon if I were in New Jersey. I wouldn't have been a felon a few days ago, but I'm a felon now. So, gun grabbers, are you okay with the fact that I own this piece of plastic? Uh, suddenly being a reason for, uh, for me to have a shootout with the police so that they can take it from me? Because that's what it's going to take if you do that kind of crap here. If you do that kind of crap in Texas or really anywhere, because we're seeing it in New Jersey, and you suddenly make felons out of perfectly law-abiding citizens, well, you're going to use the power of the police state, the government, to go and kill law-abiding citizens. And don't give me this crap about, well, if they'd have turned them in, they'd be law-abiding. But no, they're breaking the law. No, 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 no. They're breaking a statute that man has created. So uh, there you go. Quick video. I don't make a lot of quick videos. But it's a serious question. So uh, libtards, gun-dense people. Let me know. Is one form of bloodshed okay and another's not just because it's done in the name of your holy savior and lord government? Okay. Just wondering. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Down below. Take care. God bless. Be safe and be free.